This may look like hundreds of different leaves, but it's all one material using a texture atlas trick. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's delete everything in the default scene and add a plane. Then go into the shading tab and create a new material for that plane. Our first step is to add an image texture node. I generated my texture using the billboard builder on polysuite.app. I just typed in autumn leaves with the sheet option enabled and it gave me nine leaves in a texture atlas format. You can use any texture atlas you like. Download one online or create your own in Photoshop. Now add in your texture, then add a color ramp between the images alpha and the shaders alpha input. The color ramp lets you clean up any white outlines or edge fuzz on PNG textures by adjusting the black and white values of the alpha. Now add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node and use the UV output. This gives you control over the position and scale of the UVs later. Next, insert a vector add node between the mapping and image texture nodes. Add a combine XYZ node and connect it to the second input of the vector add node. We'll use this to control the X and Y position of the tile we want to show. From both X and Y outputs, add two multiply nodes and set each value to zero point 333. This is because we're using a 3x3 three three grid, and each tile takes up one third of the texture space. One divided by three equals 0 0.333. Then we're turning one number, like tile 5, into its row and column on the grid. So first a floor node, it removes the decimal so we get the row. 5 becomes row 1. Then a truncated modulo, set to 3. Then we get the column. It wraps the number around each row. 5 becomes column 2. Finally, divide and also set to 3. This splits the tile index by the grid size so the floor and modulo know how many tiles to count across. Set the mapping nodes scale X and Y to 0 0.333. This shrinks the UVs so they only show one tile instead of the full texture. Add in a value node to control both the modulo and divide nodes, and as you scroll through 0 to 8, you'll be able to see all images in the texture individually. Right now, all duplicates show the same tile, even if we change the value. Let's fix that by randomizing it. Unplug the value node, then add a floor node and hook that up to both the divide and truncated modulo. Connect a multiply node to the floor and then finally add an object info node. Use the random output and connect it to the multiply node. Then change the multiply node to 9, the number of tiles in our 3x3 grid. Now when you duplicate your plane, each one gets a different tile from the atlas. Automatic variation. Want to switch between manual and random control? Simple. Just add a mix node before the divide and modulo input. Use input A for the randomized setup and B for manual with your value node, then use the factor to change between them. Right, let's say you're using a 2x2 two two grid for images. Here's what to change. Change the multiply after object info from 9 to 4 because 2 times 2 equals 4 tiles. Then change the values in divide and modulo nodes from 3 to 2 because it's a 2x2 two two grid now. Also change the multiply nodes after modulo and floor to 0 0.5. This ensures your offsets match the new tile size and that's it. You now have a fully working UV tile selector setup. Don't forget to like and subscribe.